The dead man has arrived. The masked demon out to claim souls. Who will rest in peace tonight? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Death Valley. Weighing in at 328 pounds, The Undertaker. Mask is a symbol. You can crush his skull, but you cannot extinguish the spirit of The Undertaker. You yeah, think about when The Undertaker first appeared on the scene in WWE defeated Hulk Hogan for the WWE Championship within a year of his debut and has just grown even more dominant ever since. Every time he competes, a chill overtakes the arena. A truly terrifying sight for any competitor. From where I sit, the absolute greatest of all time, the 16-time champion. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! No one in the history of WWE has done for this company what John Cena has. Not only inside the ring, but outside the ring. John Cena is a man who's always practiced what he preached. He embodies never give up and hustle, loyalty, respect. Now, even his detractors have to admit Cena's dedication. He never gives anything less than his very best. From where I'm sitting, he is the greatest WWE superstar in history. Cena is a superstar in every sense of the word. In fact, he was referred to by Mr. McMahon as the Babe Ruth of WWE. Now, Cena's a guy who achieved success beyond anybody's wildest imagination. In my opinion, these superstars, John Cena and The Undertaker, are the two greatest performers of all time. And that's exactly why it's so exciting to see them square off here tonight. Two legendary talents looking to see which is the better man. Undertaker was there at the inception of John Cena's career, and now they face each other as near equals. This one could be for the history books. Oh, perfect kick. Down with the leg drop. Cena needs to rid himself of the feelings of intimidation and anxiety and find a way to launch an attack against the Phenom. Corey, what can John Cena do, if anything, to take the fight to the dead man? The first thing Cena needs to do is use his strength and speed to his advantage. Cena's got to stick and move, connect with powerful offense, and move around the ring. Keep the Undertaker on the move so he exerts himself and stays off balance. It is absolutely crucial that John Cena maintains separation between himself and the dead man. The last thing anyone wants to do is get into a slur fest with the Undertaker. The Phenom is the greatest pure striker in WWE history. And if Cena makes a mistake, he will pay for it dearly. Set a pendulum face bust. Wait a minute. Darkness has just enveloped this entire arena. I, I can't see a thing, guys. And I shoot by The Undertaker. Now one of the best strikers in the business. And he was ready for Undertaker. Piercing. I able to counter. Big clothesline. 
Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah. Cena turning things around. Social media, the motion in the arena is charting on the Richter scale. And that cuts Cena right off. Ooh, right to the throat. Oh, he knew what was coming. Boy, Byron, it's time for your favorite thing. I'm ready, Corey. Are you? Are you ready for the five knuckle shuffle? <laughs> Will it be? Incredible resilience. 
Kelsey. Cena looking to bury the dead man. Here's Cena. Cena walked through the fiery gates of hell and came out the other end victorious.
And things have seemingly gotten out of hand backstage. No time to wait for a bell to ring. This thing's disintegrating into a backstage brawl. Pile driver! Spiked him. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Steve Austin planted one there. Oof. Vulnerable situation for him. Check your face after that one. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Line. Good grief. And these areas are always off limits, guys. No one's supposed to be up there. I don't think they're reading the signs, Cole. They're too busy beating the tar out of one another. Corey, what's your best shot at winning in a no disqualification match? You lean into the stipulation and leave no stone unturned. Use everything at your disposal to get the win. Otherwise, what's the point? Ah, yeah. oh, Farouk counters. Set. Oh, oh, man. And this backstage area is in danger of being torn apart if this continues any further. I'll say goodbye to our safety deposit because I see no signs of things slowing down. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal forearm. Boiler room brawls, bar fights, and now a battle that's taken us to these perilous platforms over the loading dock. You never know what you're going to see when things break down like this. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. And landing with the double axe handle. And remember, guys, this is a loading dock area. This isn't built with any safety precautions in mind. Say what you mean, Cole. No one's supposed to be up there. Oh, got Austin back. Oh. Yeah. Woo. Well measured. Seriously, where are the heads of these superstars at? Don't they know all the perils that surround them? They could care less, Byron. They just want to mutilate each other. And it is just steel and concrete everywhere you look. There is not an inch of safety anywhere. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Yeah. 
an elusive Farouk there. And with everything we've heard coming into this altercation, we knew this was going to just be ugly and nasty. And I really am not liking what I'm seeing. Things have gotten ugly, but it can still get even worse. Time clothesline. Good grief. <laughs> Veteran instincts from Austin. <laughs> Kick to the gut. <laughs> oh, brutal forearm. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. <laughs> Gotta look out for that right hook. Him. Farouk gets reversed. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Yeah. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Great awareness from Austin. Countered it just in time. <laughs> Stunner. Clothesline. Good grief. Drops him with a big shoulder tackle. And Austin! Luthes press! Luthes press! Look at him go! Ooh, just relentless. And the official calls it. Clearly, they cannot fight any longer.
The bell is rung on this Extreme Rules match. Not the type of match for people with a weak constitution to participate in or to witness. Are you sure you're going to be all right for this one, Saxton? I'm okay for now. I'll hurt my eyes when things get ugly. Military press! Boom! Guys, now, now I see blood starting to flow from the face of Triple H. He's getting a little batter now. He better turn the tide. Extreme rules leave no room for error. The game in bad shape right now. The game needs to pull a trick from his sleeve. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? More than a lot of people realize. It's not just the superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing with or against you so fast. Shoulder tackle! Ah, oh, Triple H counters. Climbs back into the ring. Back into the ring. Succeed in an extreme rules match, you have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit, guys. All oh, the power of Goldberg is set to erupt. to the floor. Oh, that'll keep Goldberg at bay. Finds the advantage after a string of counts. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxton, I imagine the wind tastes a lot more like pennies.
The head of the table has arrived. Complete domination of WWE. This has brought his family and the locker room in line. And we should all be thankful that WWE has Roman Reigns. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! The man who upholds the Anawai family legacy by any means necessary. Roman Reigns always in tremendous physical condition, probably the best shape of his career, but now more dangerous, more dominant, and more focused than ever. Will not relinquish his seat at the head of the table for anyone. Roman Reigns looking to continue expanding his empire. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! This is a man who is already one of the greatest NXT superstars in history, but truly cemented his legacy by returning and dominating as NXT champion once again. Well, now he's set to dominate any roster that Finn Balor targets. You know, I don't know if it's just me, or does Finn Balor just keep getting cooler every year? Saxon, when it comes to being cool, you are one man I will never ask. You see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels.
no disqualification. That means a competitor can be attacked at will, and it's all legal. This is when you see just how sadistic a competitor can truly be, and that makes for a frightening scene. It's anything goes. You have to do whatever it takes to survive this situation. There's no limit to what someone will do if they are unleashed without restriction. DT! Hey, hey, nice kip up. Things went from bad to worse. This superstar promised a win at any cost. We are seeing just how far they're willing to go. So some damage already. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, cutting all over their opponent. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean you want to launch do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So, be creative. Defiant counter to Reigns. Finn showing it's not a time for lying down, it's a time for fighting back. How's that for a counter? Reigns establishing the upper hand. Finn Balor is under the gun. He went right into that turnbuckle. He turns it around. With the last sleep rolls in. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Reigns is setting up right there. Here it comes! Bam! Reigns put his stamp on this one. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation.
Impressive young talent. The future of this business. Incredibly skilled, but also incredibly narcissistic. It's okay to be narcissistic when you back it up. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring, representing the way from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Well, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae have been doing a very good job of warping this young man's mind. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Austin Theory has never been happier or more fulfilled. A highly sought-after talent has been brought under the wing of competitors like Seth Rollins and Johnny Gargano. Now here's a man who needs no introduction. Look at this physical specimen. And his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 248 pounds, Mr. McMahon! The icon that is slowly responsible for all of our livelihoods, everything WWE related, and can do whatever the hell he pleases because Vince literally owns the place. Come on, guys, sit up straight. You're making me nervous. reserved for competitors who can't settle their differences any other way. Surrounding yourself with unforgiving steel. You're really trying to end a rivalry once and for all when you agree to this match. Theory is out of the way. And Theory able to adapt.
and now he's at an impasse at the top of the cage. And as he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. The longer he's up there, the more fear starts to seep into the mind. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.
Lord of Darkness has arrived. I didn't think it'd be possible, but somehow The Undertaker has become more sinister and even more evil. The following contest is a fatal four-way Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from Death Valley. Weighing in at 330 pounds, The Undertaker. We've seen The Undertaker perform sacrifices, burials, even set opponents on fire. Yeah, anyone in the ring or even around it should be very, very careful tonight. Says tonight might be his most sinister act ever. Oh, I shudder to think what that means for his opponent. Fortunately for us, we won't have to wait long to find out. Beware the Phantom. As if The Undertaker could somehow become more scary, the mask does just that. I am not confident about the fate that awaits The Undertaker's opponent. All right, that's it. And his opponents, first from Death Valley, weighing in at 328 pounds, The Undertaker! Mask is a symbol. You can crush his skull, but you cannot extinguish the spirit of The Undertaker. You yeah, think about when The Undertaker first appeared on the scene in WWE, defeated Hulk Hogan for the WWE Championship within a year of his debut, and has just grown even more dominant ever since. Every time he competes, a chill overtakes the arena. A truly terrifying sight for any competitor. Well, this is an extraordinary sight. Goosebump-inducing. The awe-inspiring entrance of The Undertaker. Darkness has completely engulfed this entire building. Admit it, Byron, you're scared. A little bit. We are seeing a legend in the flesh. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the Undertaker! The magnificence of the Phenom. Truly a mesmerizing scene. The legendary Phenom creates an atmosphere unlike anything you will see. Talk to anyone who's ever been in the ring opposite The Undertaker, and they will tell you nothing prepares you for this. The stoic walk of the dead man.
Here comes Hell on Wheels. No introduction needed. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the of destruction is on display. He may not dress like Satan himself anymore, but he's still down with the devil and ready to get medieval tonight. in the corner. Yeah, put away the jaw. Trampling the opposition. Ooh, and a reversal. Undertaker looking more here. Undertaker counters. Oh, 
outside. Undertaker had that feeling. You can see it in these superstars' faces. They're in serious pain at the moment. A lot of punishment has been dished out. We saw something special from each of these men tonight. I thought all four of them had a shot at winning this match.